Welcome to today's episode of Tech Talk Dive. I'm so excited to get into the nitty gritty of self-hosting applications, specifically focusing on Hewley. If you've ever thought about setting up your own services on a server, or if you're just curious about the tech behind it, you're in for a treat. So let's jump right in. First off, Hooli is a self-hosted platform, which means you can control your own data and services on your own server. It's a great solution for privacy-minded users. But like any powerful tool, it requires a bit of setup, especially if you're venturing into hosting it yourself. Now I've got a handy guide for all you Linux lovers out there. If you're using a digital ocean droplet, say a basic droplet with Ubuntu 23.10, you're well on your way. But here's a quick tip. Make sure your server is well equipped. Hewley can be resource heavy, so aim for at least two vCPUs and four gigabytes of RAM. Trust me, if you skimp here, your server may just refuse to cooperate, or worse, stop responding. And we don't want that. All right, let's talk installation. First, you need to get Nginx and Docker up and running on your machine. Yeah, there are commands for that. It's as simple as running your updates and installing. Once you have Nginx and Docker, you're ready to clone the Hooli self-host repository. But here's where it gets slightly technical. You'll need to replace an IP address in the setup process. Think of it like giving your friends directions to your house. They need your correct address to find you. After that, we're ready to run Hooli. Could it be simpler? You'll just restart Nginx and use Docker Compose to bring Hooli to life. But don't rush too quickly. You want to make sure everything is secure. The last thing you want is to expose your MongoDB or Elastic services to the big wide web. So tighten those security settings, change those default credentials. It's all about keeping your server safe. Now, let's talk about one of the more techie aspects, generating vapid keys for push notifications. If you're unsure what that means, don't fret. Just think of Vapid Keys as the keys to your digital kingdom for sending notifications to users securely. You'll need Node.js for this. Fair warning, we'll be diving into the world of command lines, but stick with me, it's straightforward. And once you've generated those keys, they need to be tucked safely into your configuration file, like putting your secret recipe in a safe drawer. This leads us into setting up authentication using OpenID Connect. Sounds fancy, right? Basically, it allows users to sign up or log in using their existing identities from other services. Now, to wrap things up, if you follow all these steps, proper setup, security configurations, and user authentication, you'll be well on your way to running your very own Hooli instance. So, what have we learned today? Running self-hosted applications like Hooli can empower you to maintain your data privacy while giving you complete control over your environment. There might be some technical work up front, but once you set it up, you can really enjoy the fruits of your labor. All right, that's a wrap for today's episode of Tech Talk Dive. I hope you found this discussion enlightening. Keep those tech questions coming, and until next time, happy hosting.